Welcome back to Joe Stunner Boxing. Uh, there was a woman's um, flyweight world title fight that I wanted to bring your attention to because I think it's worth looking at. It's on DAZN and um, it was part of these Apeda Diaz undercard. Good fight, good fight this one. It's uh, It was between uh, Arale Muccino, who was the challenger from uh, Mexico, and Argentina's uh, Leonela Udica. And Udica... 34 years of age. Now, she had been a uh, champion for, I guess, was it four or five years, something like that? Uh, a long, long time. And she'd made about eight or nine defences. And um, if you haven't seen her fight before, she is a very relaxed and remarkably relaxed um, pinpoint counterpuncher. I mean, she loves to let you come forward and then she'll pop you. Uh, no problem with being on the ropes. Um, feels perfectly comfortable in the center of the ring or on the ropes doesn't matter what and of course uh when you put her in the ring with someone like um Arale Muccino uh you've got that complete contrast of styles because Muccino if you haven't seen her extremely aggressive come forward fighter a lot of Mexican heart you know I mean just you can tell she's Mexican put it that way she she's um exciting fighter she comes forward throwing lots of hooks um uh, works the body as well as the head and so you had this blend of styles and became apparent from the first round. First round, nothing happened, really. I mean, I think I gave it to Machino on you know, just the fact that she was moving forward and landed one or two punches. But I don't I don't give draw, uh, drawn rounds, but, um, you know, I don't believe in it. But I, I've got to say something. These two-minute rounds really piss me off. Because <laughs> you just can't judge them. They're so quick. And, you know, one girl wins one minute, the other girl wins the other minute. So... Or maybe nothing happens in either of those minutes. So what do you do? And if you hate giving drawn rounds, it's really difficult to sometimes find a winner. But I, I actually had uh, Muccino pulling away like early on. Um, and um, Leonella uh, Udica just, just didn't do enough work. She was, there was she never at, at any point was she in any trouble. It didn't look like um, Muccino's pressure was hurting her at all. But... She just wasn't, she wasn't counting enough. She wasn't landing enough punches. She wasn't firing enough. She was almost too relaxed um, in the face of pressure, which is a laudable thing. But you, at some point, you've got to land punches. So this carried on. And I, I think I, had, I, can't, I can't remember offhand. I did score it. But I think I was like 4-1 up after five rounds, which, of course, is the halfway mark, 10 rounds in women's boxing, to Machino. Um, and then... Um, Leonella Udica did start to fire punches a bit more and she was getting very precise. So even though um, Arale Machino was coming forward and still putting the pressure on, Udica started to sort of sharpshoot a bit more. And so from the middle round, she started to creep back into it. And I think after eight, I had it 5-3. Um, so it was, it was a, a draw was a possibility. And I thought possibly there would be a draw. Um, I thought I expected Udika to maybe you know pinch those last two rounds and call it a draw, but in actual fact, she didn't. Because I think I gave um, Arale Machino the last two rounds. That a lot of these rounds could have gone either way. Don't get me wrong, you know they they really could have done. But I had it at the end. I think I had it ninety seven ninety three for Arale Machino, and yet here's the irony because there was a clash of heads earlier on in the fight. Muccino had a very, very big swelling to, to the point where I was almost shut. It was one of, them, one of those swellings where was a hematoma where the, the whole eyebrow extends and look, it looks gruesome. Whereas, as, as I think it was Chris Mannix said on the, the American commentary, um, Udika looked like she just stepped out of the shower, not a mark on her, you know, perfectly fine. Well, you know, I can do another 10 rounds if you like. Whereas um, Machino looked like she'd been in a car wreck. But I had Machino ahead 97-93, and so did two of the judges, and she becomes the new IBF flyweight champ. Um, and I think Leonella Udico might look at this fight and think, ah, oh, if only I'd done more. Because this was a winnable fight for her. It really, really was. Um, but Machino won it, and deservedly so. And I think it comes down to the fact that it looked to me like she wanted it more. You know, it was one of those situations. Um, in terms of the other flyweight champions, Marlon Esparza holds two of the belts, the WBC and the WBA belts. And that's a natural matchup, her and Machino. I mean, Marlon is a, a very good fighter herself. 
um, unified champ. And why not get all the belts together, or at least three of them, you know? Um, Marlin, 13 wins and, and only one defeat. And that was a points, a points defeat, um, I think, three years ago. But put them together. Put them together. That's going to be a good fight. That'll be a very, very entertaining fight with lots of punches thrown. Because Marlin is not nearly as conservative as Udika was. And um, I expect fireworks in that one. Um, but in terms of of a, of a record, in terms of um, uh, uh, Muccino's record, she now moves to uh, 32 wins, two defeats and two draws. So in terms of uh, the amount of fights she's had, she's very, very experienced. And I think that's what pushed her over the line against Udika. I think she knew that she had to fight for every second of every round and walk through fire. And with that injury to the eye, she did walk through fire. I mean, I deserved win, I think. Um, and But Yudika will think I should have done more. I kind of lost the fight rather than her winning it. Because her skills are great. Yudika's skills are great. But there weren't enough of them. And there definitely wasn't enough output uh, during that fight. But uh, I recommend you go and see this fight. It's on DAZN, uh, if you've got DAZN. DAZN, for all its woes at the moment, and for all the controversy around certain things, you know, the, the Ben Eubank thing, the zone is still offering some good good cards. Go and have a look at them. Um, and this was no exception. So have a look at this fight. Tell me what you think of it. And leave your comments below. And uh, thanks for watching the video, as always. Um, leave your comments below. And, you know, subscribe. Like that, you know, the, the thing, you know, the routine. Subscribe, like, good stuff. Cost you nothing. Uh, and we'll speak again sometime. Bye-bye for now.